Hello beautiful souls, welcome to my channel. My name is Heather and this is going to be your very special fall yoga flow or autumn as we call it here in the UK. So I will see you on the mat and let's begin. We are going to begin in seed pose. So bring your legs and feet together and slowly bring your forehead to the mat, your arms are behind you and allow yourself to Settle into this pose, into this present moment. Let's take one deep breath in together. Inhale through your nose. And exhale out your mouth. And from this introspective pose, you might want to set an intention for this practice. It could be an affirmation or a feeling that you would like. Allow yourself to plant the seed. And slowly begin to roll up through your spine, vertebrae by vertebrae, no rush. And we will do some shoulder openers to open up our branches, the leaves are falling. So bring your arms in front of you into like a L shape and begin to open up your chest, push your shoulders back, head back. And then bring your chin to chest, the arms together. Engage the core. We'll do that a few more times. Open up the chest. Open up the heart. And then round the spine. Chin to chest. One more time. Open up the chest. And then round the spine. And release. Bring your arms behind you, your fingertips, and just open up the chest a little bit more. And if you feel comfortable, begin to lift your hips off your feet for a deeper back stretch. And slowly release. We'll come to take a seat. You'll bring your right leg straight and your left foot is to the inside of that right thigh. Lift both arms up to the sky and we will fold over the right leg. If you're doing this in the morning, then you're probably not gonna go very far and that's okay. Just give yourself permission to Relax and stretch. And feel that hamstring opening up. Slowly roll up. I'll move into sort of a half plank pose. So push into your left hand and lift up your hips and your right arm can reach up overhead. So feel a nice stretch in the obliques in the side body. And then release. And we'll switch sides with the legs. Your left leg is straight. Your right foot comes to the inside of that left thigh. Both arms reach up straight and then exhale, fold over the left leg. Slowly roll up and we'll do that half plank so your right hand is on the mat. Begin to lift up your hips and your left arm reaches overhead. And 
and slowly release down. And roll onto your back very slowly and bring both knees in towards you. We'll do some hip openers, so open up your hips and start to create little circles here in one direction, first of all. And then wherever you are, switch the direction. Bring both knees in towards you and we'll actually rock up and down on the spine. So we're bringing in a little bit more energy because we are going to try and get ourselves into a downward facing dog. So a couple more times, build that momentum. When you feel ready, you can step into a downward facing dog. Amazing work. Your shoulders away from your ears. Your heels are pressing in towards the mat. You can bend one leg and bend the other. And bring your right foot to the top of the mat. Bring your right hand in the inside of that right foot. And it's just like a high lunge. You can even bring your leg down as well. But if you do want to increase the stretch, come up on that, off that knee. You can do some pulses here. I'll move forward and back. And then step back into downward facing dog. And second side, left leg to the top of the mat. Um, to the outside of your left hand, you can stay up on the right knee or bring the right knee down to the mat, whatever is comfortable for you. And step back into downward facing dog. Begin to walk your hands towards your feet or feet towards your hands. Either one is fine. Just do a gentle ragdoll fold to so hold on to opposite elbows and start to rock side to side. And release your hands and slowly come all the way down to the mat. And once again, we will roll down onto our backs. And we'll do a bridge pose. So bring your uh, feet a little bit more towards your glutes. Hands pressing into the mat, push into your heels and lift your glutes and lower body off the mat. Glutes are engaged. Feeling grounded, feeling how strong you are. And release. Move your feet a little bit further towards the end of the mat. So this is gonna be more from your hamstrings, but you'll feel very, um, yeah, deep stretch into your glutes as well. So push up again, and you'll feel this in a different place. Just feel the strength of your legs, strength of your glutes. Slowly release and bring the soles of the feet together and allow the, the legs to open up wide for a climb butterfly. You can have your hands on your belly or you might want to bring your arms up overhead. Bring your legs back together and we'll finish off in a waterfall pose. 
So to do this, you can use a wall. You're basically bringing your feet up, legs up. Like I said, you can balance the legs on a wall or you can keep them up in the air and this just allows um, the blood flow to come down your legs. This is great for calming um, the nervous system. You can keep a bend in your knees as well if you can't find a wall. Allow yourself to feel really grounded and settled. Autumn is a time where the leaves start to fall, where we instinctively want to slow down and go within. And it's important to honor all the cycles and all the seasons. And it's personally one of my favorites. Slowly release the legs, bring them in towards your chest, give yourself a little big hug. And then you can come up to take a seat on the mat, however's comfortable for you. And just close your eyes and come back to the intention or affirmation or feeling you had or chose for the beginning of this class and bring that back into your awareness and allow it to affect you. Make that your intention today. Begin to open your eyes, bring your hands to your heart, prayer position, bow forward, namaste. Thank you everybody uh, for practicing with me. Thank you for getting on your mat and allowing yourself to move. And I hope you have the most beautiful day ever. Thank you again. And please do give this video a thumbs up, thumbs up and subscribe as well to support my channel. It really does mean a lot. Have a wonderful rest of your day.